audio. Wait, now I hear myself. Mute your mic, please, Julia. Please, <laughs> Julia, please, God, mute your mic. Okay, thank you, Droppy. Huh? Droppy! We're in. We're in? We're in. We did it. <laughs> okay. Droppy! Droppy! We're in? Yeah. We're in. Droppy! Droppy stream! Droppy stream! Droppy stream! Here we are. Hello. We had a lot of technical difficulties. As per usual. I had Jacob just repeatedly say, uh, mute the mic, mute the mic, mute the mic. And I was like, which one? <laughs> the one. <laughs> it, was, it was echoing. I so then I was just panicking. It's, I was just getting. It doesn't matter. There's echo. You did a good job. Echo? It doesn't matter. The stream. It doesn't matter. The stream started. Yeah. It's I think you did a deal. great job, Julia. Thank you for taking care of it. Yeah. Thank you. It's all good. <laughs> Everything's great. We just had a hiccup. Yeah. Is all. <laughs> you Sometimes you have a few Julia. hiccups. Sometimes you get those like serious hiccups where even after you hold your breath, they keep they keep coming at you. <laughs> yeah. That's what we oh, were having. Oh yeah, and you already allowed screen sharing i love that wow. I, did, I did the here's, whole thing we got to get the chat here's back. the mug i drew oh you made it sound like there were oh. more teeth why can i not see it Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we we're know how to technical stream. difficulties there it is why did that take a moment it just took a moment we're having technical difficulties. Sometimes we Nathan is sharing the screen and then wasn't showing me anything. That's okay. It's there now. You gotta love it. <laughs> this is We're a stream. The stream is full of lessons about patience and and understanding. I'm and patient and I understand. I'm uh, Karina. <laughs> and Karina, I'm you Nathan. you were expecting more teeth? <clears throat> yeah. You said it had a lot of teeth. This is a pretty normal amount well, of teeth. I, for I I'm not complaining. I just I was just t I could surprised. Get, I could just like there could just be some more teeth. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's teeth inside the mug that we can't see from this angle. Here's oh a yeah, tooth. maybe some are like <clears throat> maybe it's so full Sorry. of teeth there's teeth coming out the top. Okay, I'll add some teeth while we get a suggestion. Yeah, get it's, a suggestion in. Stream. So I can complain about something. <laughs> yeah. Here, here's a suggestion, Nathan. Okay. Is it um, teeth? I'm waiting for one to come. I was hoping one would come through. <laughs> oh wow! You, you really? That was wow. a called shot. Yeah. I love that. Draw I love that for us. with a pompadour. Just draw someone with we a did pompadour. It. We got one. I love that suggestion. Let's not tangent this tooth, though. <laughs> Let's not hey. tangent this tooth, and then I'll draw someone with a pomp. A, a, a Conan. There's like a million loud things happening outside my apartment. Oh, that's right now. fun. Oh, I it, can't it, hear it them. Sounds like seven skateboarders are like driving a truck. Yeah, I, I can hear a little bit of something, seven but it's pretty soft on this end. <laughs> are driving a truck. Oh, like we got together? It. Like they're on skateboards, all pushing a big truck. <laughs> <laughs> while skateboarding. Olive's here. It's missed Olive. Wow. Everybody. The problem is Julia can't hear nothing no one's saying. No. <laughs> Julia just comes in and makes big olive claims. Yeah. That's a good claim. to listen. Yeah. It's hard to hold a cat and put on headphones. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should do a stream where Julia just doesn't have headphones on the whole time and Julia just says whatever she wants whenever she wants. And you guys have to roll with it? Yeah. That's fun. That it's that sounds pretty similar to just a regular, <laughs> regular <streams>. stream. <laughs> but um, Nathan. You gave me a suggestion, but the I, teeth are so lively. They're like little jumping beans. I just it's like popcorn. I just wanted to make sure <laughs> that there were enough teeth for Karina. Thank you. This is a mood. This is kind of like what I felt like last night. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Perfect Manic. segue. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's talk While watching about it. the supernatural finale. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's do okay. it. Okay. Finale talk time. Talk about it. It was Ready. bad and I hated it. And I went in expecting nothing and 
not you even feeling yeah like you i'm just like less. i haven't watched this show in like six years but i do want to know how it ends and i was a little excited to just see how they would end it mm-hmm. and i was still disappointed wow and i like felt bad <laughs> that sounds like how, my experience watching the lost finale i was like i haven't watched the show i did watch season one and like it and then i fell off because it <laughs> They just clearly didn't yeah. know what they were doing. Like, I was just like, fuck it. Like, I'll do one last little adventure. I'll watch it live and, you know, text my friends about it and see see how that goes. And it sucked. It I, sucked. It sucked on a technical level. And I was just, like, in awe of what I was witnessing. I felt like the teeth mug. The teeth <laughs> popping out was my brain <laughs> in pieces. It was just bad. <laughs> Do you want to know what happens? Yeah, I want to oh, know yeah. what happens. Yeah, spoiler spoilers. Alert. Spoilers spoiler for alert. the the bad finale. <laughs> um. So after everyone has like died and they've resolved all of the conflict, everyone it's just has died. <laughs> everyone has died. It's literally just Sam and Dean are around and they're like, okay, I guess we just gotta carry on with life because everyone has died and (laughs) that was the price of us like being able to live freely I guess like at the start of the episode Sam's like I wish Cass could be here and Dean's like yeah me too whatever though (laughs) (laughs) and also they have a dog and then they go on a hunt to like find some vampires and this is just the standard monster of the week type hunt that they used to do like in early supernatural and it just it's just some vampires and they save these kids from a vampire uh, gang. And then Dean gets like, <laughs> he gets like pushed onto like a hook or a nail or something. And it like stabs him in the back. What? And he dies. What? <laughs> like 25 minutes into the series finale, Dean dies because he got like tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam's like, I'll call 911. And Dean's like, no, 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 I got to tell you something. And then he like monologues for 10 minutes about like how much him and Sam are like brothers and they love each other. And then he just dies standing up. <laughs> why? Is what Lord. I don't understand. Like, why? <laughs> well, that way they, it's the finale. Yeah. He has to die. You don't have to die. After after 15 years of literally everything, he just he just like sits on a nail and dies. He, just, he could survive <laughs> everything. Every yeah. monster except tetanus. A basic vampire fight takes him and, out. Wow, yeah, and it's just commentary. like, Ugh. so then Dean goes to, <laughs> I would like to say that I saw a tweet that made me laugh that said Trophy predicted super heaven. <laughs> Does he go to oh, super no. heaven? He goes to like new and improved heaven. Where, and like Bobby is there, and I like Bobby. Who the hell is so Bobby? I'm, nice. I'm picturing Bobby from King of Bobby, the Bobby from Bo- King of the Hill is Bobby there. Hill. <laughs> he it's greets okay, him man. at the gates of Super It's heaven. okay, Dean. <laughs> it's okay, Dean. <laughs> 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 heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and like the the car went to heaven too like he has a car in heaven and <laughs> so like lightning mcqueen <laughs> yeah bobby from king the yeah. hill and lightning mcqueen are there yeah and lightning mcqueen says ciao and also they mentioned that like Cass helped make because this other guy jack who was like their found family son whatever i don't i don't fucking get it but he became god and so he made heaven oh. better and then Cass like helped make it special better for dean <laughs> and and then instead of ever showing us the boy Cass, dean's like i'm gonna go for a joyride in my heaven impala and he gets in the impala and carry on wayward son starts playing and as this is happening, we see glimpses of Sam back on, like, not on, back on Earth alive. Normal and he Earth. goes on to marry some random women, uh, uh, random woman. And, like, he has a son, and the son is named Dean. And we find this out because we see a shot of, like, this toddler wearing overalls with Dean embroidered <laughs> on the front. <laughs> like, excellent visual storytelling. So we see, like, this whole, like, 
Sam living his entire life into old age and he like puts on old man makeup and for some reason like he's not bald like when he's old even though we definitely know that Jared Padalecki is like his hairline is receding rapidly but he's not bald and he dies of old age in his like living room with his adult son what? and as he's dying of old age a second version of carry on wayward son starts playing <laughs> that sounds like an evanescence cover <laughs> that sounds rad i'd listen to that yeah and then sam goes to super heaven and meets dean who is like gotten out of his heaven car <laughs> and sam's like not old in heaven for some reason which i think is a cop out and then they just kind of hang out on a bridge and that's the end of supernatural oh my god that's so <laughs> fucking dumb it was bad and i'm just like you could tell that at least parts of it were shot like under COVID restrictions because it felt very empty. Like they couldn't have a lot of people on set at a time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I get that, but that's not the flaw here. The flaw is in the writing. Like, yeah. damn, y'all made this on purpose. This yeah. is so sad. Okay, but Google Cam brings up a good Nightcore point. Nightcore Angel with a shotgun, please. <laughs> <laughs> Cam brings up the point that Sam uh one of them wanted to die in battle and one of them wanted to have a uh, family life that's good writing right there it came it came right around yeah it's oh, almost it like lying. everything in between the first episode and the last episode was <laughs> kind of irrelevant by yeah, the it was end. completely worthless your yeah. desires so, remained the same all I'm so glad and i was just like i was in I was cackling <laughs> while I was watching like the final carry on wayward son montage and like texting my friend pictures of old Sam with his bad wig. <laughs> and, and then I like went out to talk to my I roommates about it. We eventually got off the subject and then my roommate asked me who sang welcome to the black parade and I was like, dude i already experienced one hate crime tonight and now this in my own <laughs> kitchen and it was just a fun time and then i went to bed and woke up today remembering it happened <laughs> wow. and then all your teeth shot out of your head yeah yeah they went straight up oh my god <laughs> i love that because he's old he's like very squinty yeah. My eyes are smothered. There's that old. John Mulaney screenshot people kept posting where it's like he's wearing glasses to show that time has passed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I just don't understand why they felt like in order to end the series, they had to show the audience the remainder of everyone's life. Yeah. Like you don't have to and get also, to the end of everyone's life to say a like, series is like Cass done. didn't come back. They just kind of mentioned him by name a couple of times. And Cass is like my favorite character. He's the best character. Everyone else is irritating. I like Cass, but he doesn't come back. He like uh, <laughs> so stupid as an old man. We just looked at him with the glasses and he the wig. So it's bad. very funny. He looks like freaking Garth from Wayne's World. <laughs> <laughs> um is this did i draw it yes <laughs> this, this is, is what it. happened this is super heaven <laughs> end of supernatural <laughs> it looks like lightning mcqueen is about to crash into this man and bobby is watching on sadly <laughs> yeah there's I nothing can do. Th there's nothing That's bobby can do <laughs> Cass literally died only for Dean. Like he died saving Dean. And then like a week later, Dean sat on a nail and bled out. <laughs> I hate it. He here. died in battle with nail. His most... He died in battle with a static building. <laughs> Dumbass. Stupid. What an idiot. So I YouTube searched Supernatural Carry on my wayward son just because I wanted to see <laughs> that scene at the end and instead what i got was a video uploaded of supernatural carry on my wayward son hd from eight years ago yeah oh is it's it like a reference the forever yeah they like play they love, it at the end of every season they it's love to play that song it's a thing yeah it's a good song you know now i can't once, listen to it without thinking of 
old man Jared Padalecki with his <laughs> grandma's wig <laughs> <laughs> closet cosplay. <laughs> Will Graham looking ass. <laughs> Once I rose above the noise and confusion <laughs> just to get a glimpse beyond this illusion. So didn't. don't lie. I was soaring ever higher, but I flew too high. Yeah, I flew too high. <laughs> TFW. TFW, you're soaring ever higher, but you flew too high. <laughs> um, someone else should draw. Yeah. Sorry, I like talked over your whole drawing about. No, you gave me stuff to to do. I had to get it out there. It was just the prompt was just man with pompadour. (laughs) So I'm glad I got to draw Lightning McQueen and Bobby Hill and a bunch of teeth. I enjoyed the discussion. I wanted to hear I'll about stop it. now. <laughs> Excuse you. According to Screen Rant, Supernatural finale title has cool connection to Kansas song. No way. <laughs> it's a pretty cool connection. <laughs> the cool okay. connection is they play it. Yeah, twice. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool connection. But one of them is an Evanescence subtlety. version. That's what it sounds like. What should I draw? <laughs> what should Karina draw? Somebody earlier had said Bucky Shippuden. Which is Bucky Ship. Pretty yeah, cool. Okay. That's pretty I'll, good. <laughs> I'll do that. Would it be I, a stream if if not one Bucky was drawn? Yeah. yeah. If I don't draw Bucky at least once, what am I doing here? This I is mean, your super. Hell. I mean, no. Yeah. To answer the question you asked. No, me. I think my super hell is just the reality <laughs> of living. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Damn. Same though. <laughs> My super hell was me in my in my living room last night having to recount the entire finale to my roommate only for him to ask me who sang Welcome to the Black Parade <laughs> <laughs> to my face in the my most, own home. <laughs> the most devastating way that could have ended. Someone in the chat had a typo from Frenchy French who wrote Cass in Supper Hell, which I absolutely <laughs> I'm mm. so hungry. <laughs> That's like that that old parable about how heaven and hell are the same, but it's it's the it's the people who are there that make them different because they're all trying to eat their supper, but the, their utensils are <laughs> oh, too, too long. long. Yeah. The utensils are too long, and so in hell, everybody's hungry because it, they can't eat. But in heaven, they feed each other. Yeah, with I remember that. I don't know what you're talking utensils. about. Utensils. Yeah, I've I'm never sure. heard that in my life. Concept of like <laughs> heaven and hell are the same place, and all they have is really long spoons. It's a delicious <laughs> meal, and everybody has long spoons, but they can't. They're too long <laughs> get to get it in your own mouth. To get it in your, your own mouth, but <laughs> if you if you can, you can just feed lean each back. other. No, no it's can't. too long. <laughs> it's too long. You can put Karina, it down. I don't no. think you're you're conceptualizing you how long hands. these spoons are. You no, can just you're eat too. With your hands. They're too. That's they can't normal. reach the food. They it's can't too, reach the food. They're what do you mean they're can't... trapped. The food is trapped. in the middle, in and heaven? they're stuck in he- in heaven and hell. Why it's are the you same. trapped? Why aren't they feeding you in heaven? Because you Cats have to. Would never. You have to. Do, <laughs> the past changed it. That's what it was like before. Yeah, before it was all long utensils and far away distant food, and now you get a car. <laughs> I love that Jacob and I have both heard of this. And yeah, I have no idea what you're yeah, talking about. What is I pictured, this? I pictured supper hell as like supper when your parents, <laughs> when your parents tell you, you gotta have the most like de- like surprise you by just being like, we're gonna have you know that fast food that we say we shouldn't eat. You know what? We're gonna get it tonight. Special treat. And then they come back and they they're like, never mind, we got lefties. And you're like, what? What? That's supper hell. That's supper. supper hell. That's supper hell for Julia. For I guess. Instead, you gotta have. You have to have your lefties. Whatever's in the fridge. Okay. But what if just regular? But what if cake, what was in the fridge is some leftover like yummy curry? I'm not really a fan of leftovers. I'll be. What if the real. fridge is? Wow. So I like f- having the food in my home. Le- <laughs> leftovers are the best. Mm. Yeah. Leftovers, leftovers are my favorite. I don't have to spend more money. I don't have to like deal with raw ingredients. I can just stick some stuff in the microwave and. Yeah, it feels it. good. It feels yeah. really good. I like going to my parents' house and they just like always have food in the fridge. And I'm like, damn, y'all live like this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, pa- 
parents' house leftovers are those are the best kind, top tier. Because you didn't even have to make it. Yeah, you know, it's just um, there. It's just there just, for it, me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm visiting, and then it's like, <laughs> wow, I get to have a little bit of what they had throughout the week before I even got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh Bucky's so so haggard he's rugged he's real rugged now Bucky Dunn got shippudend yeah in a future where all spoons are long that just makes his nose look like an eye I'm just yeah, gonna cover right, this we're just gonna, right there yeah. we're just not even it's gonna have like the Texas flag on it oh, that's, <laughs> that's an eye patch I couldn't have placed this eye worse <laughs> You can just have that whole section in shadow. Oh, that looks good too. Yeah. Um, I fixed it. A lot of people in the comments on uh, on yesterday's video saying that there are multiple uh, glimpses into the future in Arthur where DW is president. <laughs> so, yeah, I saw that. I forgot about that. You know, it's uh, Lisa Simpson also become the president at some point. Yeah, she she's she's the president a couple times on The Simpsons. Damn, these cartoons have a future world with a lot of women presidents that we have not yet. We, yeah. yeah, can you imagine <laughs> more more optimistic? Yeah, than uh, society has allowed for. I also got a lot of comments saying that my Johnny Bravo is just it's like already a thing. There's a video game. Hey. Oh. Yeah, apparently there's a video game of of dystopia cartoon network characters. Uh, what what? Mm. Oh, is it the anime one? Where they're like anime looking? It's like fusion Fusion whatever. Fall. Fusion Fall, yeah. Is that what that's about? I don't know. I Googled it <laughs> and they got a weird looking Dexter in there. That's yeah. cool. I, I, I know the I weird looking called. Dexter. Sometimes you come up with stuff that's already a thing, and that's okay because you did seen the, this Johnny Bravo. But I will say that Julia's is better. No, Julia, Julia's had yeah. also hood ornament. Yeah, hood, hood ornament. Hood Kyle ornament. Ashley. That ornament, what goes on the hood, is called a hood yeah, ornament. Yeah, we know that now. <laughs> we know that now. But isn't it fun? Isn't it fun to know a thing that we don't know? Oh. Yeah. That's, that's a little idea. that's a little gift we give you every every time we don't know a thing you get to be like I I know a thing. This, this fusion fall Johnny Bravo has a bad case of scoliosis. Uh is he Dude, okay? What the hell? I'm so looking nasty. him up. I'm you looking him up. He, he, Johnny he looks like a uh, droppy drawing. Dro Johnny? <laughs> I would go see a chiropractor. How severe is it? I'm trying. I can't look. I'll I'll discord it to you. Please. Okay. Well, that's kind. Of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the yours is one. yours is cool. Yours has the jacket. Yeah, yours is this hot. Is just normal Johnny Bravo. <laughs> that's what just he's normal. He's also just a softer Johnny Bravo. Yeah. He just got kind of pudgy. It's different. Anyone I would say it's it different in regards to the Johnny Bravo you made is banned. Because <laughs> it's not even vaguely similar. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's nasty. Where's his he's nipples? A nasty, like milk, milkman. Yeah. Where's his anything? Where's he his looks pee -pee? Like he's Full of milk. He doesn't have a pelvis. That's what his problem is. Pelvis gone. So sad. Wow, this Bucky is rare and ready to go. Does anybody I don't want know anything? What yeah, you guys need can one I get seltzer? one? Get me, yeah. get me a seltzer. Yeah, I'll get you one. I'll what flavor? One. What flavor? Uh, Nathan is yelling, what flavor? Peach pear. Peach pear. Okay. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh, I heard a honk. Honk if you love peach pear. <laughs> Olive, Olive gave Jacob a honk. I don't want to draw honk. a shotgun. Don't do it. I make, it make it a super soaker. Hell yeah. Okay. It's so, full of beaver juice. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. I don't know what that is. What? <laughs> it's just liquefied beaver nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> they blended them down so much that it became a fluid. It's mixed with barbecue see. sauce. Huh? This cat losing her mind. <laughs> She's just nonstop oh, honking. It now uh. does kind of look like a giant turkey baster. 
<laughs> yeah, that's for, easy to draw. Yeah, for the for this, it's seasonal. Yeah, it's seasonal. She's so cute. Bucky's preparing the bird of the season. I'm not gonna give you hands. It's not a hands drawing kind of day. Since uh, since I just live with my girlfriend who's a pescatarian, I'm I'm gonna try and do a Thanksgiving chicken just for me. Ooh. Because a, a whole turkey seems insane for one person to eat. A little excessive. Yeah. Be <laughs> yeah. But I do I do like the image of of like a bird. A roasted yeah. bird. I think so, that's nice. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a chicken and some stuffing and some gravy. Wow. What I'm does Emily eat on Thanksgiving? A freaking cod. Uh, <laughs> oh. A salmon. She, like a halibut. Salmon that sounds kind of good. She does what salmon. She what does she do? Just like toss some sardines. Wow. In her mouth. She does a like a a roast salmon and uh, some some gluten-free stuffing that she makes. Wow. And Jeez. shark fin soup. And like a, um, oh, goodness, like a, a um, squash casserole. Get you some scars. And some cranberry sauce. She has a much more colorful plate than mine. I like all <laughs> the, I like all the, the brown foods. I like all the various shades of brown foods. Yeah. You get called out on a cooking show for that. <laughs> just looks a little brown. I would never be able to do a cooking show. Too many foods have tomatoes in them. <laughs> only, only I would just you be, that could I be your specialty. Yeah. The non I wouldn't be able to cook. taste. I wouldn't be able to taste the food. I'll give him one wing. Well, you wouldn't make food with tomatoes in it if you were on the. But what if show. the challenge was like make a tomato soup? You would resign. That would be a boring yeah. ass challenge, also. Yeah, like what are you gonna do? I, uh, there was a there was a tomato, tomato soup and grilled cheese challenge on a season of Master Chef that I remember watching, and I was like, "Well, this would take me fully out of the competition." Because <laughs> yeah. I always like to imagine myself in the competition. Like I imagine myself as like an amazing cook, yeah, even sure. though I'm passable at best. Hey, Karina. That's I'm like, a lot of people. I, mm -hmm. I would do this in this situation. <laughs> but for that challenge, I was like, <laughs> what were you going to say, Julia? <laughs> I was just going to ask about the where Bucky got the wing. Sephiroth. He's an angel with a shotgun. Okay. Fighting until the war's won. Well, he took the he took the <laughs> wing from the from the bird that he's about to base. <laughs> He's a nightmare dressed like a daydream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing song lyrics. Yeah. Um, Come on. Uh, <laughs> Continue. Yeah. He, uh, he's on a. Uh, his, uh, mm -hmm, uh -huh. Here it comes. Yep. W uh, uh -huh. Through the. Through the fire and the flames. He'll carry on. He'll wayward carry son. On, my words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I love it when yeah. I can't remember any songs. <laughs> it's like I know songs, and then when put on the spot, I can never name a single song. Yeah, it seems People like all evidence this is a Hades. To you not knowing songs. <laughs> it's my karaoke experience. Everybody's like, oh, I've got a yeah, karaoke song. Yeah, you don't song. sing like, one song. You sing like 10 strung together by word association. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Julia, you got to click the shares the screen. I'm going to share the screen. Click it. This? <laughs> no. This? No, we, obviously this, not. This? Yeah. This? This, 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 this one. This? Okay, now we gotta move the chat back over. Okay, good. Okay. Now, now you gotta draw a picture. I need a suggestion. <laughs> what I should it. Julia draw? All right, Olive, we're, we're moving. Uh, Olive, we're moving. Uh, Lap kitty. Gotta move this camera more. This is Spiral Doodles, thank you for liking my hair. Somebody likes your hair every stream. It, <laughs> you know, 
Who's gonna it's be just going to keep come getting longer till don't. it gets cut again. Yeah, somebody's got to come out and insult Nathan's hair. No, it's time to it's you have to balance <laughs> the scales. No, no one needs to do that. Nathan's growing too powerful. <laughs> no, yeah. it's fine. Stop complimenting Nathan. He's getting too strong. <laughs> I'm not. I'm normal. <laughs> Everything's normal. I'm seeing supper hell and spoons hell. <laughs> All right, supper we'll do it. Hell. Junji Ito. Todd. Yeah, you should you should draw supper hell, Julia. Draw draw like... the situation you described where you thought yeah. you were going out to dinner, but it turns out you have leftovers in the fridge. And the utensils are too long. <laughs> and the utensils are too long, so you need to feed each other. You don't even I need don't utensils like to that. eat. You Thank do. You. You're in high chairs that are far away from the food. And Why are you in high there. chairs? Because you're in heaven. Why Doesn't is the food like heaven? They put down. you there. They put you there. Where they does this story there. come from? I don't what is know. This? The Bible, dude. The Bible? <laughs> That's the Bible. Yeah. It's... Bro, is this the Bible? <laughs> I want to look it up. I'm I am pretty sure the it's yeah, the Bible. What, is, glad... it, what is the origin of this? That's what I want to know. Why is it something that Jacob and I... Only yeah, now. I went I'm to so private school and I've never confused. heard of this. The allegory of the long spoon <laughs> is what it's actually called. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why spoon? Because it's allegory like delicious of the long soup. Spoons is a parable that shows the difference between heaven and hell by means of people forced to eat with long spoons. <laughs> <laughs> it is attributed to Rabbi Haim or Haim. Of okay. As well oh, it's as a, other it's, sources. It's a Jewish one. That's why I know it. Yeah. That's why Nathan knows it. I've never heard of this. And oh, I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> Can't you just imagine a rabbi going, the, the long spoons? <laughs> <laughs> the spoons are too long. Did you, you want to hear the interpretation of the parable? Yes. Yeah. Given the same level playing field, one group of people who treat each other well will create a pleasant environment, whereas another group of people can create unpleasant conditions simply by how they treat each other. I'm so glad we came up with this very odd way of expressing that idea that involves heaven and hell and long spoons. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> Writer Don Eden suggests that this is a simple truth which can be easily forgotten by lonely people unable to see their situation clearly. What? You need, you you need the long people. spoons to see your situation more clearly. Lonely people. Feeling alone on a Friday people. night? Have you tried long spoon? <laughs> Have you tried reaching out with your long spoons to a friend? That's my favorite Don Hertzfeld. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. Even like when I, I it's stuck in my mind because when I heard it the first time, like as a kid, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and I'm a child. It's like you can just grab higher up on the spoon. Yeah, just sort of. You don't have to hold pull it, it in. Pull it in like yeah. this. Yeah. Sort of reel it, reel it back. I get. Well, no, because there's a wall. There's, there's a, wall. a wall. There's a wall Where's behind the wall? you. It's right behind you. So oh, it's you like when you're playing pool. If you try and reel the spoon in, it'll bump against the wall, and all the soup will fall out because oh, you jostled it. <laughs> right. Playing pool in a public place. I feel like this isn't even good leverage to get soup. You have to bring it, just, it directly upwards. Maybe it's a ladle. <laughs> no, you can you can only feed ladle. you can only feed each other. It doesn't work if you try and feed yourself. It doesn't work. It's the spoon's too long. Do, do you think like in the parable, right? Once like they solve it and they feed each other with the long spoons, is that just like what they do forever now? Or do they get to like leave the horrible tiny room? Yeah, no, they it. figured it out. Well, well, they get they like they're probably not hungry all the time. So they're probably like hanging out, shooting the shit. You know, it's probably like a podcast, but every so often they But take if you don't breaks. actually like the person who feeds you your soup. Yeah. 
you you grow to like them <laughs> because they're the person who feeds you your soup. <laughs> so you form kind of a messed up dependent relationship. Yeah, codependent relationship yeah. in heaven with the long spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nice. I would trust uh, each of you with the long spoon to I'm not yeah, I'm I, not my soup. You a single sip. I'm gonna figure out how to <laughs> oh. myself or spill it on the floor. Yeah. I was about to say that I would also trust you guys with the spoons, but I guess uh, not. I take it back. <laughs> I'm gonna find another way. I'm gonna find a third option. I'm gonna take the spoon and I'm gonna stab God. <laughs> <laughs> god comes in to check is like have you figured out how to get the oh god ah, <laughs> oh me right my eye. <laughs> yeah we all splash hot soup in god's eyes and i think between the four of us we could we could escape this parable <laughs> <laughs> oh dang it we're in a parable aren't we <laughs> not for long Get the soup ready. I want to see that horror movie where they have to escape super hell. Super hell. Super hell. Well, thanks for thanks for talking about the parable of the long spoons with me today of course, yeah. on, on the program. I'm glad I now know what that is, I guess. Yeah, you can use it <laughs> in your daily life now. Whenever you're feeling lonely, Remember that you're forgetting the parable of the long spoons and not seeing yeah. the situation clearly. <laughs> what does that what does that mean? It means you need to reach out to other people with your long spoon. With yeah. your long so your the spoon that you have is too long to help yourself, but there's someone else with a long spoon that, that can help you. That friend you've been meaning to text, have you tried yeah. maybe feeding them some soup with your long spoon? <laughs> If feed I were them. lonely, I would simply feed my friend soup with a long spoon and cure it. Hey, Rachel, come on over. I got to feed you soup. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> I don't know anybody named Rachel. Oh, you have a friend named Rachel. Yeah. I know her. You do know her. I know one person named Rachel. But would I feed her soup? Probably not. Probably not. So we wouldn't know her for long if she's not getting any soup. That person got soup all over him. Yeah, I imagine it's hard to aim. Yeah. Plus, I bet the spoon kind of like like it's shaky. Has Mythbusters done this one? <laughs> Has Mythbusters done the long spoon? The long spoon. Terrible. That actually you myth is. <laughs> is this a myth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you actually be able to feed someone soup successfully with a long spoon? Or is it? Or we it can do it, you know, when we out? see each other again someday. Do you want to do just this? Spill yes. all over. Yeah. <laughs> droppy long spoon challenge. We did that. We did a droppy long, long drawing challenge with the sword on Variety Hour. That's it's basically this. It's basically a better version of this. When we can get together again, I want us to film a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Together in a room. Or out in the world. Send us out <laughs> in the damn world. Trophy, trophy on the street. <laughs> trophy on the street. Let's do, let's do busking. <laughs> let's go in Manhattan and do art busking. Yeah. yeah. Let's piss off some New Yorkers just trying. Oh, I bet to if we go to the go right area, we day. can make some cash. <laughs> People would be so confused because they would assume that we're like doing caricatures, and it's like, no, no, we're just <laughs> that's we're not just what we're doing. We're, we're just, just drawing, drawing some. <laughs> they sit down to have their caricature drawn, and we pull out the long, the long spoon. <laughs> 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 we're not drawing. We're feeding you with long spoons. <laughs> <laughs> busking should not be illegal big tired niece busking is fun in new york at least sometimes you get some really good people <laughs> doing some rad shit and then sometimes you have a person who yells at you because you didn't say hi and then they ask for your money That's yeah you know you, t you get all kinds <laughs> i just want some like spoons that is this like heaven 
it depends. Are they are they working together or are they? They sure not? look like they're trying. Okay, so this is this is maybe some sort of in, but this is like people who were had good intentions but weren't necessarily able to execute on them. They're still figuring it out. Yeah, I feel like that's most of us. Some other tables. It's just like a really bad long spoon restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is actually is, a theme restaurant. Yeah, this is my concept for a restaurant. It's called the Restaurant of the Parable of the Long Spoons. <laughs> That's the full name. You got to say the full name. When you hear, you're in a parable. <laughs> we have unlimited soup here at the restaurant, but only if you can get it in someone else's mouth. Are, so they those are the backs of other people's spoons. Oh yeah. Okay, and they're oh, just they're like all tangled up. They're all tangled up in the chairs. They're gonna they're gonna fall over. Ah. The fire. Well, that's, that's why a, it's hard to maneuver yeah. the spoons around because you're gonna hit yeah. other people. Yeah, and it, and it, there is fire everywhere. <laughs> yeah. This that's would be a issue. cool scene for like a a James Bond, a cool setting for a James Bond fight. Uh? Everybody's. Everybody's just got their long spoons going all different directions, and James Bond has to navigate, has to like dodge them while also fighting off the bad guys. In heaven or hell? In, uh, it again, it depends. It's the <laughs> same situation. It just depends on whether or not they they help. Oh my God! The doorbell. Why you doorbell? guys and your doorbell every time. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> gonna drop Who's this? this? <laughs> it's James Bond. It's James Bond. Which is it Daniel Craig James Bond? Yeah, it's a Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig is is he bald? I don't think so. He's what got he going on. He's, he's got, got some hair. Like a real I short. Like a, I like that. Oh, he's Charlie Brown. Yeah, he's the one who knives out, right? When um, yes. okay, yeah, he's got. I, I don't, I don't know what he looks like. I'm not gonna. Charlie pretend. Brown <laughs> as James Bond. When <laughs> get it trending? Cowardly <laughs> on the internet. Cowardly uh, Hollywood won't do it. They won't cast Charlie Brown as James Bond because he has to be British and a real human. Cowards. <laughs> <laughs> Bill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does still kind of look like Daniel Craig. Yeah. He looks surprised to be here. Like he burst through the wall and this is the scene he found. Yeah, he was chasing. I don't know if James Bond burst through walls. He's like the Kool-Aid man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar characters, those two. Yeah. They're always saying, oh, yeah. Bursting through walls. Stopping international crime syndicates. There you go. Making <laughs> delicious, you go. sweet juice. <laughs> Things that both James Bond and the Kool-Aid man do. Yeah. It's really just the second we started streaming, it became it became crazy city over here. Is that a doggo? Yeah. You guys have a doggo. Yeah. My doggo is pretty quiet during the day now. It's a night dog. Yeah, it's a night dog like now. Yeah. All right. It's Jacob. <laughs> it's Jacob Tony. Yeah. Yeah. You have a, a big soft brush out. Rick, it yeah. was suggestos, please. Yeah. I want this. Oh God, your chair's oh, yeah. so low. That's because Oliver's in my lap. <laughs> Sorry, I should have warned you. <laughs> Hello, friends. Apparently, the theme is now heaven, heaven and hell. Heaven and hell. <laughs> Sorry, rock. I keep heaven turning these into oh, supernatural boy. streams. But <laughs> last time, never again. Very we excited had... to go back to not giving a shit about supernatural. <laughs> Can you go back? Spoon Jesus. I mean, yeah. Or can you carry on? 
There's some great. <gasps> <laughs> Please draw the Drawfee crew attacks and dethrones God. Oh, yeah, Jacob, okay. draw that. All right. <laughs> this will be the first line I've committed to canvas today. Oh boy! Spoilers for an upcoming drawfee, but there is there is some more supernatural. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's really good. It's a doozy. <laughs> it's a real treat for the eyes. Uh, it was not a treat for my stomach because I was laughing too hard. <laughs> Jacob comes up with the good challenges. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Or for that one. Or was that one a, a suggested challenge that you found? For I think us? it was a suggested one. Yeah, it was a suggested one that I sort of modified ever so slightly. It was good. <laughs> I'm excited to see. Yeah. I'm excited to see that one again. <clears throat> yeah, it's going, be, it's going to be good. It's like one of those ones <laughs> that makes you feel insane <laughs> while you're drawing. But looking back on it, it's like, oh. Yeah. That's probably fun to watch. Doing the render for that one, I was just like staring at my screen laughing alone in a dark room. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was all I could do. <laughs> oh, we getting him with the soup? We're ah. getting, getting his ass. He came in to check on how we were doing. <laughs> Did you figure out my parable? <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> You oh, it's it. too hot. <laughs> it's you in saw my, my eye. Soup puzzle. No. God my one a... weakness. God too hot soup in the eye. We know God has a beard. Yeah. That's yeah. like the one thing we know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact, actually. That's a fact. Theologians of all <clears throat> stripes can agree. Jesus, what does your dad look like? Uh, he has a beard. He's got a beard. That's all I really know for sure. Yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> Don't want to give away too many trade secrets here. People have been sharing that picture of uh, adult Finn with a beard, saying it looks like me if I was blonde. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no! I think this wouldn't this wouldn't hurt God, but one weakness, soup. Maybe it doesn't hurt. He just kind of looks disgruntled. Jacob, the way you draw people who are dealing with unpleasant situations is always so funny to me. Sweating his beard. <laughs> Not what God like, here would look like. There we go. <laughs> Bringing back yes. memories of when you would make <laughs> comics. Definitely for... a middle part. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I gotta use the bathroom. What? I gotta use the bathroom. Eh. Uh, Stop, you guys. If you just work together, you'll eat the soup. Why? No, you didn't. It was. It's a good parable. <laughs> it makes sense. I promise. Why are you doing this? This always happens. This is not the first time. Yeah. It got in the face with soup. Well, probably like by the time you know. Presumably we've all gotten like really old and died of old age, uh -huh. surrounded by our families, only to be sent here to this fucking soup <laughs> this soup room. It's like I dealt with a lot in my living life and now you're giving me some sort of soup test? No. I refuse. I refuse. No, just send me back into the void. I'd rather go into non-existence than yeah. maintain consciousness but have to live in some weird ass. I don't even like soup that much. Well, if it's if it's matzo ball soup, I'd be like, you know what, actually, this is... Can can someone feed this to me? <laughs> I do want to bite that. <laughs> I do want to bite. 
I would I would use my spoon to sort of take the chunk off of the matzo ball, the size, get the right ratio of matzo ball to soup. And then I'd be like, okay, now take that and the broth and feed it to me. And then <laughs> and then now I will now you do the same and I'll feed you. We take turns. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, Nathan, you've you've just gotten a direct hit. Wow. This is the most athletic I've wow. ever looked in my life. Hoggers. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing so much action here. I think like we're gonna get Karina <laughs> over here coming in yeah. from, from the other side. Yeah. Oh, this is a real this is like uh this looks like a, a dungeon master's like uh, screen art. <laughs> You've got yours ready. <laughs> we should make those. We should make custom D and D long spoons. D DM <laughs> long. Uh -oh. We should make custom long spoons. <laughs> I really did not know where you were going with that. <laughs> custom long spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Amaze your friends and relatives with these long spoons. Trap them in a parable. <laughs> See if they can solve the riddle of the long spoon. <laughs> then I think we'll have like up here, we got <laughs> Julia coming in with the cauldron. Oh, Julia got the whole wow. <laughs> She's so strong. She would. That's the most she efficient. Would. <laughs> efficient way. Just oh, whole, Cam whole Cam crap. has a a supernatural oh. uh, detail to share. <laughs> of course, Cam does. <laughs> that uh no one's talking about how the Heaven car has the same license plate as the car from season 1. Did it change since season 1? I'm sorry, I'm not deeply invested in the lore of the Impala. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't possibly remember every bit of supernatural lore because it's been so long and there's too much of it and most of it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to read that out loud, Nathan. Yeah, it turns out it, the, the chat's too slow. If you write yeah. something and don't want me to say it out loud, you have to say it immediately. Yeah, you better. <laughs> you have to preface what you write with don't read this out loud or else it's going to be too late. You never, you never know if I'm going to read. If you leave it in chat, it's for us. Sometimes yeah. we're going to say it. Yeah, that belongs to us now. Don't put yeah. something in chat if you don't want the possibility. Like of I us wasn't going to read it, it out, out loud, loud, but like Nathan's right there. <laughs> I'm right here, and I will read stuff out loud if I can't think of something better to say. <laughs> oh, is is oh, he just getting just stabbed? Stabbed. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to get the spoon right in Oh, you're there. just getting... Okay, yeah. so we're running interference, wow. but you've... And the spoon is not... Did you, like, <laughs> file the spoon down? No. This is you're just, just so sharp. strong. Brute force. It's a real... Out. It's a real blunt stab. Ooh. Oh, here I come. We're going to get Nathan that, up look here. Look at that leap I'm doing. Yeah. Maybe gravity is a little different in heaven. You can do cool leaps. <laughs> it's all soupy. I think if we were gonna kill God, uh -huh. it would go a little something like this. I mean, that's what I'm saying. A you know? little something this tracks. like this. It's like not, I've, I've thought about it a lot. Uh huh. Because I figure we're gonna have to eventually. It, probably. Yeah. The way things are going. There. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've got a lot of, you know, bones to pick with any sort <laughs> of deity. Some, some issues I'd like to bring up with admin. Yeah. Some bugs I'd like patched, please. Like, I just think things don't have to be so <laughs> shitty. They could be less shitty, I think. 
And if like the if the gods got control over that and isn't doing anything about it, then it's time for the spoons. Then we get then we gotta get the spoons. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta yeah. get them with the spoons. This is this is the actual solution to the uh parable of the spoons, the long spoons. This is what the rabbi didn't want you to know. Yeah. The rabbi <laughs> didn't consider <laughs> use the spoons to stab God. <laughs> Oh man! You, oh no! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> He's wearing a, a little tank top and some shorts. Well, it's like a—I think it's like a toga sort of. Oh, okay. Situation. It's Zeus. This is a Zeus. Yeah. Like some sandals. I don't know what God wears. Some leg hair. God, who are you wearing? <laughs> yeah if it was up to me to plan the murder of god this is what i would do i like yeah. it i'm down that's all i have to say about it this is I'm a good drawing. drawing too i would I love a, a rendered version i know we don't render stream drawings but this one i feel like we could make this into a poster <laughs> I like drawing a bunch of action poses. And just for add, add the in big bold text, God is dead and we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and sell it as a poster. I'm going to wait for Julia to come back so she can see. Yeah. yeah. I hear her coming. Where is she? She's coming right now. She just grabbed a cat. <laughs> God is dead and we killed him <laughs> with long spoons. Beautiful. Carry on wayward sons. <laughs> <laughs> wow this is what we would do i'm dumping the whole pot yeah you grabbed the whole vat came in from above <laughs> yeah nathan got the eye karina's going for the other eye <laughs> while i do a, a direct attack on the on the gut <laughs> maybe there's more soup in there who knows hello olive uh i'm done who else is wants it back, to draw is it back to me back to yeah. you all right, let's get me a suggest. Oops, sorry. Did I turn on the lights? <laughs> Just oh, yeah, smacked lights. my knee into my desk. I'm That's sure nice. that made a fun noise for everyone. And here, of course, is um, my drawing from before, <laughs> which I think is still pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of how my- I didn't say this earlier, but you really like nailed Bobby. Yeah. And yeah, you did car lightning mcqueen i did lightning pull up a car i did pull up reference for, for them but oh still i'm still pretty happy with just how they take, turned out just take it take the compliment i'm taking I it you I'm, love compliments i do just take the compliment Nathan. i'm taking it thank you thank you thank you take your good drawing and your nice hair and get out of here <laughs> is low-key the funniest thing I would love. We <laughs> were like, we gotta name this car. What do we name him? I don't know. Lightning McCar. Uh, Lightning McCar. Lightning McCar. <laughs> Some kind of car. Some kind of fucking hey. car. Some kind of McCar. Life I don't know. is a car way. <laughs> if life was a car way, I would car it all night. Car. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Draw the Bible verse of the bears murdering the children. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, be, I'll be googling that. There's a there's a Bible verse of the bears murdering the children. Who are the bears? Dino heaven, egg hell. <laughs> you mean <laughs> Julia should draw egg hell? So I googled Bible verse bears, and it said according to the New International Bible, <laughs> he turned around, looked at them and called down a curse on them in the name of the Lord. Then two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the boys. <laughs> 42? Oh. Wow. Damn. That's so many. Two bears got 42 <laughs> boys? Then there's an entry That's from... 21 the Index. boys per bear. Damn. Yeah, if they split it evenly. If they split it evenly, which I imagine <laughs> the devil they did. works hard, but these bears work harder. <laughs> <laughs> One of the top links is from a website called the Christian Index, and it there's an article called "Why Would God Send a Bear to Maul Children?" It's <laughs> a good question. <laughs> yeah. What's the answer? 
<laughs> Why does anyone do anything, you know? <laughs> this is oh a fair God. gaming. Yeah, he's murdering his. <laughs> Hello? I just found the Bible verse. Are you ready to hear the actual verse? Yes. From there, there was Elisha went up to Bethel. As he was walking up the path, some small boys <laughs> came out of the city and harassed him, chanting, go up, Baldy, go up, Baldy. <laughs> he turned around and looked yeah, at them Jacob. <laughs> and cursed them in the name of the Lord. Then two female bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the yes, children. Yes, queens. <laughs> Girl so power. got <laughs> bullied for being bald and was like, <laughs> Yo, God, can you do something about this? And God was like, I got you. <laughs> Bro. Bill bears to kill all of the children. Go up, Baldy. <laughs> Go up, Baldy. <laughs> oh, God. It feels like the biblical version of like, go off, I guess. <laughs> Go off then. The article then says, Get one person ass. writes... <laughs> <laughs> This article says one person writes many years ago i had an atheist question me on the passage in uh two kings two twenty three you know whatever i've sought an answer to that one for a long time but could never find a satisfactory response what is our answer to this question amazing <laughs> Isaac God, Mayer, good point. God figure it out isaac Mayer says that in the biblical era having a lot of hair was associated with power and wisdom so uh, they weren't powerful and they weren't wise. So those kids were like, get wrecked. <laughs> like, nah, never mind. Um, so you just have to imagine that they're playing a game of, I guess, Fortnite with uh, 42 boys and they're just absolutely <laughs> demolishing them. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, and then also Dinosaur Heaven, I heard, was a suggestion. Yeah, Dino yeah. Heaven. All right, let's let's get a dino going. <laughs> this is a loud siren. Oh, oh Jesus yeah. Christ! Oh. Not gonna. Sorry, everyone. Not gonna front here. That's a loud siren. Yeah, that was very loud, very suddenly. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. It'd be like that. <laughs> the Hebrew phrase for small boys refers to adolescents from twelve to thirty. Oh. So like whatever. <laughs> that demo. Who cares? So it could have uh, been anyone from a 12-year-old kid to like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go up, Baldy. <laughs> <laughs> I came out with the 12-year-olds to razz this dude. Yeah. All the all the 12-year-olds were doing it and you just you, wanted to join. <laughs> and then you got destroyed by two <laughs> lady bears. By two yeah. lady bears. Oh my God. <laughs> Bible's a wild time. Sirens on the way to arrest you for killing God. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, I feel. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little cutie with her chirps. Little cutie with her chirps. Hi, Miss Olive. I think a good like 20% of any given stream is us talking to Olive. <laughs> yeah. So I thought like, you were going to say like, us talking about the Bible. <laughs> no, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. Gonna this is a Bible, Bible stream now. <laughs> yeah. I love the Bible. The um, Bible. <laughs> She's purring. I love the part where uh, Sam and Dean get sent to the real world where they're stars in the TV show Supernatural. Is oh, that a in, real episode? In the Bible? Yeah. Damn, it all comes together. <laughs> I love I me love, some Bible meta. <laughs> I love the scene in Supernatural where Sam gets mauled by two female bears along with a bunch of children. No, Sam's the one that they're yelling. <laughs> Paul, what was it? <laughs> Get up, Baldy. Go, go up, Baldy. Go up, Baldy. Go up. Go up, Baldy. <laughs> they're yelling it at his hairline. <laughs> Go up. <laughs> oh, 
the dinosaur is watching over them and telling them they're doing a great job. They have the spirit of the dinosaur within them. <laughs> the spirit of the dinos. <laughs> Someone said the French mistake was an amazing episode. What? That's the episode of Supernatural where they literally go to the real world and they are their actors in the TV show. That actually oh. happens. In the show? Yeah, that actually happens. What? I like that episode. I thought it was kind of cute. That's a reference to Blazing Saddles. <laughs> yes. Because that's what happens. That's the song they sing in that part of Blazing Saddles mm -hmm. when they when they go to the movie set. Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles. <laughs> Blazing Saddles. <laughs> the name of that song? Go up, Baldy. <laughs> Club remix. <laughs> Young Frankenstein. Blazing saddles. Blazing saddles. Chicken I love soup. to apply the Nathan <laughs> emphasis. The producers. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should like get that in the dictionary as the Nathan emphasis. We do the false the false syllable. The, the false the syllable. The first syllable, no matter what. What's Olive's deal today? She's just getting in all the shit. Yeah. Don't know where this game they're playing is. I guess it's like over here. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. VR. Yeah. Why oh, man, we get to play Tetris VR later. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing Tetris Effect on the VR headset. Wow. Hell yeah. It's like vibing the game. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're just playing Tetris and vibing to like jellyfish and shit. <laughs> Jellyfish. <laughs> Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Chicken soup. <laughs> Liz Jackson said, is that a Jacob horse at the bottom? <laughs> no, it's a dinosaur. Jacob could be. horse. Could be. Jacob no, horse. This is a Jacob <laughs> horse. On the same side of the head. Yeah, get another. There we go. There's a Jacob horse. Yeah. Oh, a wonderful tableau. <laughs> we love a Jacob horse in this house. We did it. <laughs> My perfect scene, one panel comic. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> it makes sense to anyone. Yeah. I look at this and go, oh, it's that Bible verse. <laughs> this is a Heathcliff comic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Heathcliff in there and you're done. <laughs> go and on. And a caption at the bottom. <laughs> It's like he loves a visit from the dino heaven. Yeah, ham, he, ham loves, helmet. he loves a visit from the dino heaven. <laughs> We're just like, he's a gamer. So we have where, to figure out where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> where are we dropping, boys? That's too much of a joke for Heathcliff. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm naturally funny. <laughs> <laughs> you got to shut that all the way down if you're writing a Heathcliff oh. caption. It has to be something like, yeah, he's really into kale now. <laughs> yeah, just write that. He's really into kale now. <laughs> Emily Veronica said, just got here. Totally understand the comic. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Then you have to have two birds on a wire that are just watching. Yeah, that's the right. It's the it's the um the beast, the scribe, and the witness. It needs the, to be three parts of any Heathcliff every comic. Every Heathcliff comic has to have those three <laughs> elements. Um yeah, so the it's the, it's going to be a bird talking to the horse. So the horse, <laughs> the bird is the scribe, the horse is the, the horse witness. is the witness, and everything else is the beast. <laughs> everything else is the beast. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason this isn't a Heathcliff comic is because it has word balloons in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's my drawing. It sure is, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Now oh. it's Karina's time. Yeah, give me some requests. 
Julius, Julius Sane, saying Julius. go up Baldy is stuck in my head now. Go up Baldy. Go up go Baldy. Baldy. <laughs> go up. <laughs> <laughs> there's I won't spoil what the episode is but there's a line that Julia says in the episode I was I was audio editing mm-hmm. where she's like she's like I was trying to get to that but you all won't stop talking about pizza <laughs> <laughs> and the way she said it I had to hear it like so many times and the cadence of it got like completely stuck in my brain <laughs> oh god Cam, I'm not going to draw unironic supernatural fan art. Just go to like 2012 on my Tumblr if you want to see that. (laughs) You already did it. Yeah, it's already done. (laughs) It's been there for years. (laughs) Uh, Jacob Horse Hatsune Miku. (laughs) But what does it have to do with heaven or hell? (laughs) That's true. It's not heaven or hell. It's someone's version of heaven. It depends on... (laughs) If you give it soup or not. <laughs> okay. If I just want to draw it. Soup, wait, I just want to draw it. Wait. Jacob, of course. Wait. Soup or natural? Yeah! We got there. Yeah. We got there. Go up, Baldy. Go, Go up, Baldy. <laughs> That's the new poggers. <laughs> Go up, Baldy emote. Go up, gamers. <laughs> go up, gamers. Go gamers, up. go up. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of gamers, rise up. <laughs> gamers, go up. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's very good. I was just thinking about, Julia, the, the message that your brother's friend sent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> about how we're like, our channels and like the top, 20 of twitch or something with like regards to (laughs) what was the message like there was a comedy central thing about twitch and we were on the list oh because my brother's friend is a writer for comedy central and they were doing some research for something and when they were researching about twitch channels drawfee was one of the top uh twitch channels we were in the the top 20 let me pull up the message is a jacob horse go again it's so funny to me as it's a like, top 20 performer on the platform it says, must be like yeah. non non-gaming top 20 well we're not yeah what is this what does it mean says, yeah i i don't know what metric that we're not even partnered but it's yeah, still they won't still let a, us <laughs> it's still a cool we keep begging cool. them <laughs> it's still a cool message to receive my brother's friend's message says trophy came up during comedy central's preliminary research and twitch today as a top 20 performer on the platform with like nickelodeon nickelodeon's know, on yeah, twitch I, I didn't know nickelodeon what was does on any twitch? of this mean it's us and nickelodeon based yeah. on comedy <laughs> central's understanding of, of I mean, twitch, twitch <laughs> we're we're a top 20 performer and you know what i'll i'm gonna take it i'm not gonna look this gift what? jacob's horse yeah, in a, a in the mouth jacob horse looks like yeah maybe it's top 20 non. i don't like channel. this i don't like this at all i'm gonna i think it's good this i think it's good how does how did the horse size go like this? You, kind of, you yeah. kind of just put them wherever you feel like you want them to be. Oh, this horse is looking into my soul. Horsesune Miku. <laughs> Jacob Horsesune Miku. Jacob Horsesune Miku. Jacob Horsesune Miku. Jacob Horsesune Miku. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work with that many syllables. I'll make it work. <laughs> Jacob Horsune Miku. Jacob Horsune Miku. It's a Jacob Horsune Miku. <laughs> it kind of Jacob sounds Horsune like Miku. a, like a say it. Itadaki Mas that you say it in Japan. <laughs> Clap your hands and go, Jacob Horsune Miku. Yeah, you say it before you die to avoid the soup parable. (laughs) That sounds like a gamer tip. (laughs) Yeah, you see that written on the ground in uh, Dark Souls. What you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to say any percent. Yeah, to avoid the dating parable ending. (laughs) Dating parable? Dating parable. parable. What's the dating parable? (laughs) <laughs> that's what it's the same as the soup parable but you do um you start going steady 
with your soup <laughs> spoon <laughs> partner. It's because someone in chat said Jacob Hoare's dating sim and it <laughs> incepted my brain. I hate when that happens. Karina, this is cute. Yeah. This is the is. cutest Ew. Jacob Horse I've ever seen. <laughs> it's definitely the cutest Jacob Horse Sune Miku I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> um by the way, thank you everyone who's watching <laughs> live for being a patron. Yeah. yeah. So kind of you. Thank you. That's like, good stuff. Thanks. We all. do we do very much appreciate you and Sorry your support. For the last minute. A uh, shift in schedule, but uh, we you realize know. that next week is Thanksgiving. It's holidays. Yeah. It's holidays. You what don't want to do? learn. You don't want to do a learn on a holiday. Yeah. Just, no. I'm going to try and come up with some good stuff to teach. It's my turn to do the teach. And the thing is, I don't know that much, but... I think I'll, you know a lot. I'm going to I'm going to do a, a learn next week and then whatever I learn next week I'll teach the following week. Nice. That's a quick turnaround. Yeah. I'll have I to mean, that's, tune that's, in so I can finally learn how to draw an animal. That's how I uh you I know how to draw sort of Jacob horse. experienced uh, most I? schooling was I would learn what I needed to for the test and immediately forget yeah. right after. Same. <clears throat> That's how you do it, baby. I remember I really pissed off one of my friends because she was like, I got I got a better grade than her on a test. And she was like, can we like study together next time? And I was like, if by study, <laughs> you mean look at my notes an hour before the test. And she was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't make it a system that you can abuse. Yeah. yeah. They don't want you to abuse it. That's what I say. By the time yeah. I was in college, I got through all my academics by either choosing really easy ones or like 4D chessing the final and like predicting what was going to be on it and only selectively studying that because I didn't do the reading all year. Yep. Yeah. I did. That's, that's both. I would do both. For every, for I every graduated birth. with honors, so you know what? Maybe fix, maybe fix school. Yeah, maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe school's the problem. Maybe do it better. Can yeah. we patch school? <laughs> yeah. Can we? Can it we buff to be school? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was one of those students that was very bad at taking tests, but like good in class. I don't know what happened in my brain every time I had to take a test, but I would absolutely panic. And just do so poorly. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. That's like the worst, uh, um, the worst combination of yeah attributes for school. I mean, yeah. I, I graduated. I graduated with honors in high school, and then I graduated college with like a uh, almost four point GPA. But it was it was a it was a real it was a real struggle because I panic on every single test. Well, you don't yep. have to take any tests anymore. Thank God. Yeah. We never I have to like go every back. Every time we do a 30 second challenge, it's a test that I fail every time. <laughs> oh, man. It awakens those feelings all over again. Yeah. But it's good. It's good that you fail. Yeah. You that's failing helps us. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's always <laughs> failing tests for content. Yeah. The funniest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have one wing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cause and because it's heaven, it's heaven and hell. Yeah, heaven won't take her back because she's an angel with a shotgun. Because she's Jacob Horsuni Miku. Fighting till the war. Jacob Horsuni Miku. <laughs> you could also say it when someone sneezes. <laughs> yeah, if you say it like really fast, they'd never know that they'd you weren't know. saying anything that meant something. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Horsuni Miku. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional greeting. <laughs> There's no reasoning with this Jacob Horsune Miku. Yeah. Look no, at her you, eyes. You've already been judged and come up wanting. <laughs> you thought you <laughs> avoided soup heaven? <laughs> Welcome to horse hell. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> She is queen. <laughs> Would you rather soup heaven or horse hell? 
<laughs> Based on what you've seen today, yeah. What is your choice, audience? Yeah. Answer and show your work, please. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is a test. <laughs> this is a test. I expect all 301 people to answer in chat. <laughs> we will be counting. Yeah, you're going to get a grade on this. She has like a tattoo here, I think. She has a tattoo somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Help. <Maybe. laughs> I think it help. says hell. Oh, and not help. <laughs> but we she don't know for need sure. help. Look at her. Maybe it says hello. She is queen. Yeah, you'll never know because she's always looking like facing directly at you, though. <laughs> you just reminded me. I had a dream <laughs> last night that, uh, Julia, you got a, a whole arm tattoo to make it look like uh your arm was like a, a dot matrix like shaded half tone oh my god that's weird <laughs> i'm into that idea that's kind of neat that's so all i yeah that was the whole dream that was the whole dream <laughs> that's a good dream it was all like right. we were on the zoom call about to record an episode <laughs> i was like oh julia did you get a new tattoo and you're like yeah <laughs> What a mundane dream. It was so no boring. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm boring done. Dream. <laughs> Ain't nothing ass, wrong so with conscious. that. Is it Jacob time? It can be Jacob or time. Yeah. I'm sitting here, aren't I? Yeah. Jacob Horsune Miku. <laughs> Jacob Horsune Miku. Now that she's off the screen, you don't know where she might be. <laughs> That's very scary. <laughs> Tell me what to draw. <laughs> No Please purpose. draw the cover of the Dungeons and Dragons Dungeons, sorry, Dungeons and Drawfee book, Drasha's Caldwell of Everything. That's a joke on uh, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. <laughs> I will not be doing that because I don't know enough about what those things mean. <laughs> well, someone just said draw my dog. Let's see. And Tasha's I like that idea. Cauldron of Everything. I don't know what that dog uh -huh. looks like. I'll draw Michael Cutler's dog. Good. Draw Michael Cutler's dog. Just gonna like feel it out. <laughs> we yeah. got a siren coming. Yeah, they're here to arrest. <laughs> or Tsune Miku. <laughs> Stop. You don't, you don't need gotta, to. You don't gotta do this. <laughs> Do start with a bean. That's that bean. That's that Chicago bean. That's that Whoa. Chicago bean. Are you drawing the cosmic bean. cow again? We should bring <laughs> the Chicago bean to be the Jacob bean. Yeah. I agree. It's Chicago anyway. I don't even go there. Da bears. I don't da even go there. Da beans. This is the dog <laughs> from uh, Paranoia Agent. Maromi. I'm drawing Maromi from Paranoia Agent. Oh, I was thinking it's the dog from Kill I Kill. I'm going to have to change directions real fast or else I'm just drawing the dog from Paranoia <laughs> Agent. Come on. There Aww. we go. Now we're changing. Now we're shifting gears. I like this. Just going to feel it out little by little. And now it looks like a little bird looking up. No, not That's anymore. That's a Garfield ear. These are Garfield ears. This is a cat. This is no, a cat it's now. Be a dog. Maroon okay. Field? It's got it's got cat ears. I guess uh, it could be like a Sheba. There we go. It's got a snoot now. Okay. Now it's a dog again. This is cute. This is Michael. <laughs> what's his name's dog? Michael. What's his name? Jackson, no. <laughs> Jordan, no. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. This is Michael B. Jordan's dog. Okay. I think it was this dog. See that guy? Oh. Oh. That's a friend. Oh, that's, that's a good dog, too. That's the dog from Kill La Kill. He's always wearing a little sweatshirt. It's been a minute since I've seen Kill La Kill. The dog rules. That show's fun. I was rewatching scenes from it this week. Just scenes? 
Yeah, just parts of it because I really like the animation in that show. <sighs> I still haven't watched Kill a Kill. <laughs> and you're not gonna. Yeah, you know me. You, you could. I could. But you're not gonna. Like, I never got around to it because one of my friends didn't really like it. And I just don't watch a lot of stuff. So I was like, I'll skip that one. But I do love that creative team. So maybe I'll get around to it eventually. I really liked Kill La Kill uh, when I originally saw it. And I still like it. I haven't rewatched the whole thing. But I love this one character, Gamagori. Uh, his height is, uh, as a YouTube comment said, taller than last time. <laughs> he's so big yeah he's, he's so a, big and he always grows he grows he's like the size of a building in one episode and it's like <laughs> we never mm-hmm. watched promare we still need to do that let's right. do that yeah i think we have the issue that all of us are bad at pulling the trigger on actually making a plan that's yeah. true and we're all really good at saying things we'd like to do yeah and I I have two copies of Promare and I don't know like the best way to stream it to like us. <laughs> mm. Two copies of it? Yeah. They sent me two copies. Oh. <laughs> I think my problem is is that I like my only free time uh, at this point is like the weekends. Yeah. In the weekends, I just, I, I completely unplug and I space out for two days. Basically. Same. And then, and then. Just like, in theory, I'd, like- yeah, in theory, I'd like to do like movie nights, but then we have to like actually do it. Yeah, Ugh. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> Calling out Cam in the chat, still talking about Supernatural. <laughs> you know, I looked at your AO3 account. Where's the Supernatural fix, huh? I thought you said you wrote some when you were 14. Where are they? Huh? Damn, dude. Wow. <laughs> I've been reading the chat. <laughs> Cam has been eviscerated. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. It's going to be the headline. Brutal. Huh? Cam, I'm sorry. Brutal. I only say these things because I like you. <laughs> Draz says, Trina, you should give a copy of Promare to Jacob and Julia so they can just never return it to you like they did with shares and B-stars. I mean, I could. Yeah, Draz. <laughs> I could oh, do uh, that. <laughs> do you want me to, like, send you one of my copies of Promare and I'll just never see it again until I, like, get it back it someday? Yeah. yeah. You physically take it back from us? Yeah, I think that's right. It's an option. <laughs> I think that's right to do. <laughs> wow this is dog <laughs> this is dog oh, what, what was dog. the what was the prompt was it dog my dog michael cutler's dog yeah michael cutler's dog this is your dog now <laughs> i hope you like it do you like your dog michael 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 Michael. Michael, do you like your dog? Mike. We, we made it. We made it for you. Mike. Michael. 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 This is what you see as you just hear <laughs> your name being repeated. <laughs> Michael. 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 This Michael. dog's name is Jacob Horsune Miku. <laughs> but they couldn't fit that on the collar. So, <laughs> so they just wrote dog. They just wrote yeah. dog. I'm going to be honest. This is the best thing I've ever drawn. It's, it's pretty it's good. very good. Yeah. I think that this is peak. This is peak me right here. Hell yeah. I'm not drawing anything else today. <laughs> okay, well, it's time for me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah. okay. 
<laughs> okay. What do, what do I draw? Cam, stop admitting things in chat. <laughs> Muppet Purgatory. <laughs> what is this? I don't like this. A sexy Old Testament angel. Lobster oh, hello. Bite. Who's this? Who's a little friend? Egg hell. You can draw egg, egg hell. hell. Egg hell. <laughs> egg hell. What is? What you, even is egg hell? It's up to you. It's. Oh. It's, a, it's a grimace. Christ, <laughs> Julia. It's a this perfect. This is it. We're in egg hell. <laughs> a perfect grimace. Like it really is a beautifully drawn shape. Yeah, but <laughs> like an egg. This is what this is what baby grimaces hatch from. The grimace egg. <laughs> oh god. All right. You sticking with that one? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Why are they always like triangles? I yeah. love it. Why are they grimace shaped? It's so good. <laughs> what does grimace look like? Like that. I mean not like this. Yeah. You did a perfect grimace. No, I don't know what the shape is. Yeah, now it's like a double grimace. Yeah, <laughs> did, are they clipping through each other? It's some <laughs> something happened. Something <laughs> happened. Oh. Oh, that's cute. I like that. This does not look like grimace, but it does look like a mascot. It's like a grimace adjacent. Oh, it's coming out of a grimace. Oh, mask. it's just walking out, like <laughs> coming, just leaving a building. <laughs> coming out of my egg. And and I'm doing just, like just fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Something casually leaving an egg is very funny. <laughs> Unlike, yeah, they grimace, grim eye uh, come out of their eggs fully formed. And they just walk out. They just walk out. <laughs> the most normal thing in the world. Like they were just in the bathroom and now came out. <laughs> yeah. Well, they did go to the bathroom in there. It's gross in there. Yeah. Don't go in there. They're probably excited to leave. <laughs> what are more egg-shaped creatures? People are calling well, it the hairless gritty. Well, it depends on what you yeah, any, mean by egg. Yeah. I, I guess draw another egg shape and we can tell you what yeah. it looks like. Okay, oh, that's better. Get, yeah. That's, that's better. That's nice. It looks mm. like it's got a little dollop on top. <laughs> yeah, this one's got a top dollop. <laughs> Give it a top dollop. Okay. This is like a little little oh, round ghost. Oh yeah, it's a ghost. This is oh, a this ghost is egg. The, uh, <gasps> the the ghost from Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Elm Street. Nightmare oh, Before yeah. this is Elm Street. It's a smooth oogie boogie. Yeah, smooth oogie boogie. Smooth oogie boogie. It's like oogie boogie fell into like a rock tumbler and got all smoothed out. Smoogie boogie. And he got and he came out and he was like, I'm smoogie boogie now. And everyone was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say stuff like that. You gotta get get out of here. You gotta go. You can't be here. You gotta do this. There's there's kids around. <laughs> he's like i know they're they work for me the kids he's so smug the most evil people in all of halloween town are me and some children smuggy buggy <laughs> okay <laughs> attempt number three <laughs> nope oh i like you mean that nope one. That's that pretty good. Started. Yeah. It was Did getting it? there. You, you just, just need to fill started. in that gap. Well, again, something could be coming out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of an egg. Yeah. That a looks kind of like um, when you do a hard boiled <laughs> egg, but some of it gets stuck in the shell when you're like, <laughs> it up. So it, it's like, it's got like a, a flat 
bit. I just keep thinking of Nathan <laughs> saying, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Smokey Boogie. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> People are instantly mad. <laughs> It just like paints a history like they were already sick of this guy's shit and this was the final straw. Everybody knows someone like that. Like they every every day they come up with some new weird shit that they're doing and it's just like I don't I don't know. I don't know how to relate to this and I don't particularly want to but you're like talking about it like I should care. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ma'am, your center of balance. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, that's dumpy. that's the I'm I think... smoogie boogie. And the person's like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. I guess I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> all righty then. This is egg hell. Yeah. All right, another egg. They're all like a little oh, upsetting. Julia. Julia, I got it. it's an egg. That's a good okay. egg. Yeah. It yeah. Fourth, fourth time's the charm. We're getting there. <laughs> a beautiful one, egg, a pristine egg. The one good egg. <laughs> this one goes to heaven. Yeah. Well, it this, doesn't belong here. <laughs> this is the the Lucifer egg. It was too perfect, and so God was intimidated and cast it out. That makes sense. God egg. <laughs> yeah, one a, a, one wing only. A beautiful yeah. egg. I've done it. All right, now to do that faster. Faster? Yeah. Are you Fill going? You're out. going for like speed? Well, Julia's speed running this uh, egg hell. Yeah. <laughs> egg hell, any percent speed run. <laughs> It's 4.40. We got 20 minutes left. Oh, well, how oh, much wow. time did we lose at the beginning because of tech? Yeah. Well, it, was only, it wasn't only. It was that long. It was like five Good. minutes tops. So we can yeah, go five over. Long. Yeah. As long as I don't have to draw again, that's all that matters. You don't, you don't <laughs> have to draw again. I'm going to do, the, I'm gonna do the, the Tasha's cauldron joke because I like it. It's the first D and D book that I purchased on D and D Beyond. This one's a little doggy. A shy doggy. Is this a shy doggy? Yeah. So bashful. It's, it's like... okay, doggy. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> We're all in egg hell together. I don't know what egg-related crimes you committed in life, but you will not be judged here. Okay, what about a Totoro? A Totoro oh, well, egg. That's Totoro. kind of yeah. like an egg. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where do I put? Well, I don't know why. I don't know why he's in hell. Totoro's a uh, he's neighbor. He's just joining the parade. Totoro knows what he did. Yeah. Totoro <laughs> knows what he did. Miyazaki hushed it up, but he <laughs> can't escape the judgment of egg hell. Oh God! It's this one again. <laughs> is this not? This does is he not exactly have these what eyes? happened last time you tried to draw Totoro. I haven't. It's, it's. I mean, it's. <laughs> you could tell that this was an attempt to draw Totoro. Yeah, like it's. It's it not. Means. Not. <laughs> Totoro. Totoro does not look at you this way. <laughs> this Totoro does. Yeah, and that's why he got sent to egg hell. <laughs> This is Totoro combined with those like Quiznos chinchillas. <laughs> this is Totoro is grimacing. How do I, how do I fix this Totoro? Yeah, th th yeah, hollow the eyes out more. No, 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 no keep them. You already drew them. Yeah. This is good. He, he has a nose and whiskers. Here we there go. You go. That's yeah. Totoro. That's, That's all it took. <laughs> I'm Totoro. It's a very nervous Totoro. That's why he's like pointy. 
this Totoro, what's this stance? It's walking. <laughs> it's doing a very sort of casual. You know when you walk, walk, but your arms are just like static at your side, <laughs> and you're like doing a lunge. This is a this is a lumber. This is a lumber. For when sure. you walk, but your front foot is planted flat on the ground in mid walk. <laughs> I, you you know when you're like after you've been uh, you fell into a little bit of a, a doom scroll on the toilet and one of your legs fell asleep and you yeah. gotta get up. I know, that. I know that feeling. That's this happens to me every day. Yep. Oh. oh no! <laughs> it didn't need to go anywhere. I don't think. I was trying to fix this whole section. There's no, that's no... correct. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's what we got. Wow, really a range of emotions on display here. Oh good, fire. I'm smoothie boo. This is this is <laughs> what's <laughs> happening <laughs> that part. Just cuz the f <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Can I do another drawing <laughs> suggestion or does someone want this? I think I would draw. Yeah, okay. Nathan wanted to do something yeah. that I don't understand what it's a reference to. There's a new D&D &D <laughs> book out called Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It's okay. got some fun new subclasses and some optional rules. Love um, optional rules. You want to bring that chat over, Julie? And uh, yeah, I yeah. bought it on D and D Beyond. It's my first digital book purchase I've made because I, I have a bunch of physical copies of books. But I was like, I don't want to wait. I just want to read about all the the new stuff. So I I freaking got it. Have you been enjoying it? Yeah, I love I love theory crafting characters that I'll never play. <laughs> Bottle, please. It's my favorite. I Someone love to said, be like. Sorry, continue. No, that's it. I was just going to say what I had already said, but in a different way. <laughs> oh, okay. You well, say. someone said that my egg hell is what you see when you enter hell. And I just imagine it being like one of those Disney parades that cycles <laughs> yeah. every like hour or whatever. <laughs> they have to do But it's it. incredibly uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They're all just limping along. <laughs> they all make too much eye contact. The music is like slightly off, offbeat. They yeah, you're you're worried about are. them, but also really intimidated by them. The dog you feel a little bit bad for. But if only you had the courage to offer up a long spoon of soup to them. <laughs> then you could free everyone. You could free everyone. It's all it takes one bit of generosity <laughs> oh nathan's posing now oh yeah who's this gonna be nathan who's this witch this is caldwell this is the caldwell, caldwell. this is the caldwell of everything <laughs> someone in the chat's name is la petite p tika La Petite, the alternate way that people who don't know how to spell my last name spell my last name. <laughs> the most common way is that they make it two words. And a lot of people will put le and then an e at the end of my name, which doesn't make sense grammatically. <laughs> Go off. Go up, Baldy. Go, Go up, up, Baldy. Baldy. <laughs> It's, it's really good to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because guess, it's like. I guess could... we're going to get mauled by two bears. Yeah. We we're keep saying, saying it. it. <laughs> we're saying it like in, a, in an empowering. Yeah. yeah. I want to hear that in like one, like a TV show competition. Like someone, you know, really hit some new notes that they're singing at. And the judges just stand up and go, go up, Baldy. Go, go up. up. Go up. <laughs> Go up, Caldy. Go up, Caldy. <laughs> what MME 725 said. That's good. How to, how to freaking. All right. Let's get that. 
he's gonna be like about to draw. I have a theory that Caldwell's the easiest person to draw. Yeah. He has like three iconic facial features. Yeah, it's really Tuft good. The hair, the glasses, <laughs> and then the chin. And if you get those three things, it always looks like Caldwell. If you want to start practicing your likenesses, practice drawing <laughs> Caldwell. Yeah, start with a Caldwell That's and work mode. and work up. Yeah. Work up, Baldy. <laughs> I love this just beeping that's going on outside our window at all times, at all uh, hours of the day. That's fun. Oh, oh cool. That beeping? There we go. We got a honk. a honk. We got a honk. If it helps, I don't hear any beeping on this end. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I did hear the honk, though, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Can't ignore that. No. They needed attention. What happens is that we're between two busy Burns. roads. Like our road doesn't have any restaurants or anything on it, but on either side of us, they're pretty busy. So I think a lot of trucks use our road to kind of like circumvent that one. Right. They also like tend to close off the other roads. Yeah. To like have people eating food and stuff in the streets. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a lot of trucks that kind of just park on our road as well. And then they'll just throw it into some mode that causes it to beep forever throw it into a mode <laughs> throw it into a mode tablet chilling now yeah well because i'm waiting to see this this drawing just yeah unfold before my very eyes and it's a nice drawing yeah it is a nice drawing it's not another weird version of heaven or hell <laughs> it was just a fun suggestion yeah. that lick the cow happy had and i was like i just i'll just draw that yeah no that wasn't a complaint <laughs> i'm just really excited to spend the rest of my evening doing jack shit after yeah. this, I'm going to hop on a video call with some friends from home and explain the Supernatural finale again. Yes, do yeah. it. <laughs> it. It feels like it gives you power. Yeah. Yeah. It. it empowers you. It does. It's I an, like it. Yeah. <laughs> when you it's, really don't you know, like sometimes, something. Sometimes like, you're really, like, you liked a piece of media, but it just repeatedly disappointed you long after you kind of stopped keeping up with it. And instead of grieving that, you just have to repeatedly shit on it to the point where you find your own enjoyment in that. I think we, yeah. <laughs> you know, every piece of media that queer baits me only makes me stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they didn't get Kaz and Dean together. Yeah. Well, world. I mean, I can believe that. I would have been I would have been shocked if they like did anything else with that after just killing Cass for you know experiencing gay love and then immediately killing off Dean for questioning his sexuality. <laughs> it just it really <laughs> felt like if it, if cuz I don't know a lot about the show obviously. So from like a normal brain perspective it felt like killing Castiel was a way to like then reunite them in a dramatic way. Yeah, like yeah. I mean that's the thing. I'm just like this is like the ending. Like did you think you did something with this just from like a storytelling perspective like on a purely like so non-emotional techni like technical perspective like this is yeah like it's it's underwhelming. It it's confusing because like there's no payoff to it. I don't get it. It's like one what of those What was fan this for? <laughs> it's like one of those fanfics that goes on for way too long and you're like, okay, you're just like updating for the sake of updating. And I then mean, I wrap just, it up in one chapter. Just yesterday, I read a very good 194K word Destiel slow burn and it was fantastic. <laughs> They put the supernatural fan in could fantastic. Never. They actually care about it, unlike yeah. the that made the show. Yeah, I'm just like, that's the most upsetting part. It's just like, it was just really bad for, like, just on 
I don't know. It's just bad in a technical sense. The writing. So if any of the um, the Angie. writers of Supernatural ever <laughs> yeah. want to guest on Drawfee and yeah. like, talk about, explain themselves. Yeah, bad. to me personally. You're not <laughs> invited. Explain yourself. <laughs> Drawfee gets Supernatural let writer on. to explain themselves. Yeah. Not clickbait. <laughs> yeah, artists get Supernatural writers <laughs> to explain themselves. No I would drawings. just, I, I'd be open to hear, not really, I don't really care, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, I don't get it. Like, it, it really amounted to nothing. Nothing mattered. <laughs> well, that's, you know, carry on my wayward son. You know, that's. Yeah. Do you, ever, do you ever consider carrying on? <laughs> it wasn't like any type of tribute. That that statement's a, it, it was a suggestion. Like, maybe just carry on from this show. Cause yeah. <laughs> it was stupid of you to come back, Karina. <laughs> <laughs> anyway this, this is, is such a nice drawing yeah yeah this is just a good drawing i love the big mug we love a big mug we love a big mug <laughs> loud Hi. truck season loud truck again the girls love it though <laughs> how do trucks get so loud i don't know man <laughs> who let them who let them get quieter trucks we still have like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, shit. Well, I already drew the poor foe. Whoa. Let's just talk for 10 minutes. Or you can send it back to me and I'll draw more eggs. Yeah. <sighs> you cooking tonight? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Making eggs? I'm going to cook a bunch of eggs. <laughs> We're going to eat 12 eggs for dinner. Oh, God. I had one egg for lunch more <laughs> what it was one an egg, egg on a burger one egg okay. for lunch oh okay it wasn't just an egg <laughs> just one egg just Ju just one julia's having an egg lunch again everyone <laughs> we gotta have an intervention about julia's egg lunch <laughs> just i'm not gaston i only have one egg per lunch it's not a problem <laughs> it's not a problem I have one, egg. one egg a day does not keep the doctor away i just it's just one egg Oh, I don't like oh, he's so strong. Oh. Yeah, not he doesn't usually have defined pecs. Well, this is this is for the book cover. <laughs> of course. Duh. How, how foolish I've been. Joy. Do you know that Joy's been here the whole time? If if yeah. you uh. That? If you knew what the what the cover of uh, of the book looked like, you'd be like, "Wow, Nathan, this is really funny. You did a really good job." I I'm look it up. I like it, it on its own. I'm looking it up. I'll look it up. I guess I'll look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I'll look it up. I don't know what I'm looking Tasha's up. Tasha's cauldron of everything. Uh, Tasha's cauldron of everything. Oh my god, Nathan! Wow, Nathan! Yeah. This is so funny. Thank you. <laughs> Cuz what oh, I did was I I took good. the I took the design and I just changed a couple things. Yeah. yeah. Nathan and Porfo's Franklin, there. Frankly, and Porfo's there. Hysterical. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm losing my mind with laughter. I think right it's now. pretty good. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good. You did pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job. And I think that we all did a pretty good job today on the stream. Good work, I keep team. Having a feeling where it's like, I really want to play more RPGs with friends. Uh huh. But I really want to do it in person. <laughs> I don't. I really want to play, but I don't want to do any more Zoom calls. <laughs> I miss sitting around with people in person playing role playing. Yeah, because then you get to order a big pizza. Yeah. yeah. You get to see your the faces you, you of get to, your loved ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that you get too. To have Brian and Emily's cat sit on your character sheet. Yeah. You that get doesn't to, happen you to get me. To touch Brian. <laughs> you get to touch Brian. I haven't touched Brian in so long. I haven't touched Nathan in so long. Yeah. I haven't touched anybody. <laughs> yeah. Except Julia. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and these cats. The cats are good. <laughs> wow. Someday. Someday. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, I, I'm done. Okay. With this. You want to send it back over? I'll draw yeah. more egg. Julia, draw more <laughs> eggs. Okay. Yeah. It's winding down with some eggs. Some classic eggs. Beautiful egg drawings. Here's, there we go. The sun went down. The dog is out. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> Oh my God. I had to move a little bit. Yeah. This freaking sucks. <laughs> yeah, turn your mic back up. Yeah. Eh. Thank you. I hope everyone in chat appreciates the fact that I've been turning the mic up when it's further That's away not. and turning it down when it's closer. I appreciate it. I'm this not even, the, I'm not even it. Wait, hold on. I'm there. Doug. This one's Doug. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Nathan. For appreciating <laughs> it. Wow. The Love stream's on a little it. delay. So people are going to see me type that after it showed up in chat. Damn. <laughs> that's, that's time for you. Yeah. When you watch the stream, you're literally seeing into the past. Yeah. It's time travel. <laughs> all of this already happened. Yeah, it all already happened. We're already talking about travel. something else. And you don't even know what it's going to be. Yeah. Tuna fish sandwiches. What the hell? See? <laughs> Whoa. No one saw that coming. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but it had already happened now. That's like an egg. That's egg. It's eggish. That's yeah. Skeeter. Skeeter. That's Skeeter. Does she have. Does she have long nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. like that. Yeah. Skeeter's a bird. Oh, he's a he's a mosquito. <laughs> he's a mosquito. Mr. Mosquito. <laughs> I'm Mr. Mosquito. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 I'm Smoogie Boogie. <laughs> get it? Because I'm smooth. I don't. I get. Are you smooth? Did you not used to be this smooth? I don't. I, I try not to look a lot at you. Of attention. I don't. <laughs> Next. I don't egg. know. It's like it seems like you're Next referring egg. to something. Next egg. Yeah. Oh, that's a sharp egg. <laughs> yeah, sharp egg. That egg's gonna get you. Careful, you might prick your finger on that egg. This one looks like a little flame, like a little cute flame. Oh, yeah, like a little flammable symbol. Yeah, a little candle flame with a face on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I drew Is the old element symbol. Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpy flame. Who's got a doorbell? That's me. How could you? That's unprofessional. That's unprofessional. Wow. We would never. Wow. Patreon streams are for the unprofessional. Yeah, this is where we're at our worst. <laughs> I wonder this if is that's what the people pay for. I wonder if that's the meat thermometer I ordered. Ooh, look at you. I got a meat thermometer too, Nathan. Because I want to go for a while. I I never. I never cooked meat in in this <laughs> in this current living situation i am in but now uh -oh. but now i'm gonna try i'm nathan. gonna try one one bird nathan i hope it goes well me too i think it's gonna go great yeah i have no doubts but just in case i, I hope like you, you know, absolutely nail it you could put it in also, the oven Julia, that's really cute yeah it is cute yeah it's really <laughs> cute he's a little grumpy flame at first, I thought it was a little happy mouth you'd drawn, but then it, I saw it was a, a little folding arms, and that what I thought was the nose is actually the mouth. Nathan, if it makes you feel any better, I feel like it's really hard to do an oven chicken wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it does make me feel better. I, I like, mean, I have, I have memories of doing it. I've never done it all by myself. Most of the cuts that are like, the dark meat cuts are really hard to overcook. Yeah. 
It's just the breasts you got to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, what you, what I, I do the, uh, I'm gonna try and do the Thomas Keller. You just salt it. You, you get it nice and dry and salt it, and then that makes the skin get all crispy. Yeah, and, and, every, crispy and it just, skin. and it just sort of cooks uh. everything else inside it. Gets nice and and juicy. But I'm also gonna make stuffing and gravy. So even if it does dry out, it'll be fine because I'll have stuffing and gravy for it yeah dude so i'm just gonna pretend it's a turkey i'm gonna make dressing yeah i need and to I figure out what i'm making because i have like a bunch stuffing. of meat that it's already like prepared it's like smoked so i just need to heat it up i believe Ooh. and i could cool. also just make cheese bread because that's just like my go-to like oh, oh are man. we having like a dinner Oh, I'll I'll make some I'll make some cheese bread. I remember yeah. when you made I cheese bread and brought bought, it to I the office. Bought a lot of tapioca flour one time. <laughs> That's all I use it for. <laughs> it was so good. That stuff was so good. That it's was really so good, good, Karina. <laughs> I was like full when you brought that, and I still ate like four. Of them. <laughs> That's why it's the perfect thing at those yeah. like churrascarias because you're f you're so full of meat but you still have room for the cheese bread. <laughs> Turkey lumpia. I don't know, I my roommate makes lumpia, I don't, but I have a bunch of frozen lumpia, but I'm saving it for Christmas because I'm probably not gonna get to go home. And I know that if I like make lumpia on Christmas, I'll feel like I'm at like a family party. <laughs> and it's, that's- um, It's pronounced Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm furious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've never been more mad. <laughs> yeah, go go make cheese bread, Jamie. It's really easy. <laughs> That's why I, I make it all the time because it's like such an easy recipe. <laughs> you just need a blender and tapioca flour. Those are the two most difficult parts. <laughs> I don't have a blender. I was just waiting for chat to catch up. <laughs> or like moment. something, something blender like. Oh, I do have that. Yeah. You got a hand, hand. An mixer. emulsion blender. An emulsion blender. Ooh, yeah, fancy. Not a hand mixer. That's different. Julia, what's <laughs> this guy? Yeah, what's this guy? He's a little rock. Is he underside of a rock? This oh, part? Okay. oh, that's cute then. Oh. Yeah, oh, like this is the top part. And this is the moss. part that lays against the the ground. He's got some moss eyebrows, and he's got a little little creepy crawly. <laughs> I thought it was a moldy almond. Yeah, I was like, this is yeah. either something very natural or something moldy. Okay, so it's not food, so it's okay. It was never <laughs> food. Yeah, no, he's a little rock. He's a little rock friend. I would watch a full two hour stream of just you drawing, <laughs> drawing, a, drawing an egg shape and then deciding what it what it actually is. Yeah, it's nice. These little noodle arms you got on both these guys are so cute. They're good. Okay. The stream is over now though. The stream is oh, over. Is yeah. Yeah, technically. We can end it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> Q Patrons. carry on my wayward son playing. <laughs> it's time for us to go to super heaven. Uh, seriously, thank you all so much, especially now that it's it's almost Thanksgiving time. We're thank you. So thankful. Thank you for your support. Thank especially thank you to the mods for just keeping everything cool. Yeah, yeah thank the you, Discord. Mods. Thank you all Patreon supporters. You're the best. <laughs> you make us allowed to do our our job we love to do. And, and also and live also, while doing it. And also thank you to everyone <laughs> watching in the future the VOD of this. We appreciate yeah. you as well. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you have a nice, I guess it'll be like holidays time. Yeah. I, ho I hope we have a nice whatever is happening around this time. I hope, yeah. it's, I hope, you know, there's some stuff that we can't control, but yeah. the stuff that you can control, I hope it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Julia, That's it. In the stream oh, my there. God, I do. It's up ah! to you. Goodbye. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Sorry.
Sorry.